Let's make this quick delicious sanding pie. If that's not something interested, keep watching. I already prep all the ingredients. I have potato, carrots, I have the spices, I have the oil that I got from the sanding, and I have the sanding as well. And I also have chopped onion. Added some of the oil into the pan and allowed to heat up. Once it's heated up, I go ahead with the chopped onion and I just saute it for about a minute or so just to infuse the oil with more flavor. Few minutes later, I added some garlic powder, some oregano, salt and seasoning powder, some curry and thyme. Feel free to add any spices of your choice. Once I add all the spices, I just stir fry everything together for about 30 seconds or so before I go ahead with the other ingredients. At this point, I'll go ahead and add the potato and the carrot. You can use less carrot and potato, alright? It depends on you, or you can use more, alright? Once I add the carrot and the potato, I just stir everything together. Once I stir everything very well, I added a little bit of water to that, just to cook the carrot and the potato. Cover it and allow to cook. While the potato is cooking, I will go ahead and prepare the dough. I have some all-purpose flour, I already sieve it. I add some salt, some baking powder and nutmeg. And I will go ahead and mix everything together until they are well combined. All the dry ingredients are well combined. I'll go ahead and add the melted butter. I'm making use of melted butter so it will be easy for me to mix together. But do you do whatever that works for you? Once I add the butter, I will continue to mix until everything looks like bread from all right. At this point, if you want to add egg, you can add egg. But today, I'm not going to be adding egg. And this is the texture that I'm looking for. As you guys can see, it looks like bread from already. I added a cup of milk and I'll add a cup of water also and mix everything together. I will leave the full ingredients in the description box below. If you are interested, you can check it out. When you are working with liquid, do not add everything at once. I had it at once because I know the measurements that I'm working with. If it's your first time, I will advise you add the liquid little by little. Alright? I will continue to mix everything together until I achieve a smooth dough consistency. Like so, once I achieve the dough like this, I will cover with plastic wrap and allow to rest for about 15 to 30 minutes. Back to the pot, at this point the carrots and the potato, they are well cooked. I just stir everything together and gently and then I will go in with the sanding. I match the sanding with fork, alright, so it will be easy when I'm using it in the filling. Once I add the sanding, I add a little bit of pepper flakes, alright. This is optional, but trust me, it takes the filling to another level. Once I add the pepper flakes, I just stir everything together until they are well combined. Once I'm done with stirring, I just leave it and allow to cool down completely. I just cut out a little bit of out of the dough and then I will go ahead and roll it out. At this point, it depends on you, alright? You can roll it in the shape of the meat pie or the shape of fish roll. It totally depends on you. Once you roll it out, cut out the dough, add your filling. You guys already know the rest of the process, alright? I will just allow you guys to watch the rest of the video and enjoy.
this point, I already preheated the oven to 250 degrees Celsius. I just go in and brush the pie with some egg so we can have that beautiful golden color when it is done. Once I'm done brushing it with egg, I transfer it into the preheated oven, alright? And I just allow it to bake until it's completely done. That is it guys for today's video. I hope you guys like the recipe. If you do, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!